access to property. Hill. Absolutely are talking about affordability and I'll tell the member that the average price home in the GTA reached 1.25 million dollars last month. That means an average home buyer needs to have an income of $223,000 just to afford one of those houses. Families don't make that kind of money. Is the minister proud of creating a class of permanent renters because this government's lack of action on the housing affordability that she's talking about? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'd like to thank my colleague for her question. Yes, we don't, we don't only have to work on access to property, but also on renters' rights, we see that there are rent evictions, we see units that are not currently accessible. We need to ensure that people can both buy and rent affordably throughout the country, and that's what we put in the budget. Concrete measures to help Canadians have a roof over their head. The minister is living in fantasy land. I'll repeat that. An average house in the GTA is one and a quarter million dollars. Okay. The minimum required down payment for that house is $250,000. Oh, okay. You know what the average income for an average family is in the GTA? Well, it was almost $94,000 the last time we checked. So when will the minister join us in the real world instead of fantasy land and admit that under this government's leadership, we are in a housing crisis? We need it. Yeah. The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'd like to thank my colleague for her question once again. Well, I live in Canada and not in fantasy land. And I can tell my colleague that we need to work not only on access to property, not only on increasing the number of housing units, but we also need to ensure that we are focusing on owners and renters' rights. And the national housing strategy is working on several levels. I hope the Conservative Party for once will vote with us on this. Lona Lake Country. Mr. Speaker, the Minister for Housing continues to insist that his programs are keeping up with rising home prices. But in Kelowna Lake Country, in just the first two months of this year, the average price of a single-family home increased by $92,500. Wow, That's wow. more than $10,000 a week. Wow. I was speaking to a 15-year-old from my riding who said the dream of home ownership is only a dream. Will the minister finally admit that his failing housing policies are absolutely not working? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'd like to thank my colleague for the question. And that gives me another opportunity to speak about some measures in Budget 2022. For example, an annual tax on property that belongs to non-residents and non-Canadians. There is also a two-year ban on property purchases by foreign investors. Mr. Speaker, we need to do something about this issue. We need to ensure that Canadians can buy houses if they wish, and also to ensure that they have a roof over their heads. Lee Aldergrove. Mr. Speaker, the cities in Metro Vancouver need 25,000 new houses every year just to keep up with population growth projections, but we're building only 20,000 new homes. Now, this supply and demand imbalance is hurting a lot of Canadian families who just want a safe home and a financial, uh, some financial security. Clearly, this government's housing policies of the last six years have not been working. Why should Canadians have any confidence in their newest set of promises? Good question. Parliamentary Secretary. Mr. Speaker, 